clinking. You were beautiful, just like a flower. I could walk with you for a million miles, and my feet would not get tired. Where you go, I'll go. Winter or summer. Welcome back to the channel. Today is the start of all of my summer vlogs. This is summer vlog one. Just starting off the day. We came to a park and we're just getting some exercise in. We're walking and it is so hot. It's funny because we came here when we first moved to Dallas and there was a sign that said like, watch out for poison ivy and poison snakes. And we were just like, what? Um, and then we were walking and there wasn't a lot of people here and we heard like several sounds so we got kind of like spooked out so we left but we're back here again there's a lot of people I hope you guys enjoy this vlog so the people in front of us was like yeah I saw a couple of snakes earlier we just turned back around <laughs> I think we've been here for a good amount of time it's time to go back <laughs> I am all dressed for the day. I'll show you my outfit of the day right before I leave, but I need to go to Home Depot. We are going to be moving soon, so watch out for the moving vlogs, but we need boxes. So we're gonna like slowly start to pack so that when moving day comes, we just move all the boxes and don't really have to worry about packing up. As you can see, I have four boxes. There are actually two right over here but yeah we already have two of our standing desks we already have our new nightstands um we we really wanted to wait to get them until we moved into a new apartment but memorial day sale was great so we just ended up buying it and now we have it here it was really a struggle getting this here but yeah we're gonna pick up some moving boxes I'm gonna start packing up gradually. So I wanna start removing this stuff on the wall. Let me show you really quick. So these pictures, I wanna remove from the wall. I don't think I'll be bringing them to the new apartment because uh, my style aesthetic has changed. I don't want any black and white photos. So I think I might just throw these away. Yeah, probably. And then I'm gonna take down these and then the ones on the kitchen. I'll start off doing that.
Let's look at all of these. I printed out these pictures from CVS when I first moved in and bought this little decor piece from Amazon. Well, I think I think I'm going to keep these pictures, but just put them away in a safe place and then just replace the pictures with like, you know, pictures from like 2022 and, you know, just some recent pictures I took. But yeah, these pictures are from like 2020, 2021. I want to put some new pictures. But yeah, so cute. And these, you guys, I'm so creative. So when people give me cards and write something in them, I try to keep them. I've gotten so many cards over the years, birthday cards, graduation cards, and I try to keep them, especially when someone like writes something very nice for me. Um, so what I did was, I was like, okay, I have so many cards. What am I gonna do with it? I got some picture frames. I cut out what people wrote and I put them in a picture frame. So nice, I got some birthday ones, got like congrats on your new home, got a birthday one. Yeah, I have a couple of birthdays, so. So nice, I think I'm gonna keep this because I really like this. I might replace the picture frames because they're a little bit dusty, um, <laughs> but I'll keep the cards definitely. So I'm pretty much done for today. I feel a little bit accomplished. I got all my decor packed up. I got a couple of books packed up. What else? I got all the TV console items packed, so that's good. Tomorrow I'm gonna continue and start decluttering and getting rid of some stuff that I don't wanna bring to the new apartment. There's just no point if I'm not gonna use it. If I wanna get rid of it, I'll just get rid of it now instead of Moving into the apartment, getting rid of it. I This is my first time moving out by myself, guys. Um, or just in general. This is my first apartment, first moving out experience. And I'm not hiring movers. I'm not paying anybody. And I don't want to hear, oh, sorry, we broke your TV. So. Okay, I just took a shower because I just felt really sticky <laughs> and I could smell that outside so I was like, okay, I cannot lay in bed. I have to take a shower but we're on episode three of Manifest and it is so good guys. I recommend you guys know I took my Netflix break, now I'm back on Netflix and I was like, okay, what show should I watch? First thing I usually do is go on the top 10 TV shows and Manifest was like number two, I believe. And it is so good. I had to stop myself really quick because um, episode three was about to start. And I was like, wait, I need to take a shower. I need to do my skincare, my hygiene routine before I get sleepy. Um, but I just want to say thank you so much, guys, for watching my videos. I really appreciate the support. Thank you guys for commenting. Whoever comments on my videos, I appreciate it. And thank you guys for being, like, very interactive on my community posts. If you guys didn't know, I do post on the community tab on YouTube maybe, like, two or three times a week just to get some feedback from you guys. Um, I'll post, like, announcements, ask you guys questions um but a lot of my recent posts i think it was like the last two um i got a lot of engagement so i'm very very happy about that so thank you guys but today was so so hot and i say this all the time but today was something else we didn't park the car yesterday inside the garage it was outside so we went inside the car and boy, <laughs> I was hopping and puffing. I was like, why is it so hot? It felt like the car was on fire. We looked at the dashboard and it says 100 degrees. I know it's not summer yet, technically. Like summer is like the ending of June, but it's summer right now for us in Texas. 
It is hot. It is hot. Um, but at least it's not humid. It's it's dry heat. So, I mean, it, it's still bad, but <laughs> at least it's not humid. So we are going to do a little chit chat before I continue watching Manifest because it is so good. Um, but on one of my posts, I think it was like two weeks ago, one of you guys wanted me to discuss fun things to do on a budget. Sometimes being on a budget can feel restrictive and I can definitely relate to that. I work Mondays through Fridays. So when the weekend comes, I'm like, oh gosh, what am I gonna do for fun? I've been stressed out, staring at the computer throughout the whole week. What am I going to do? Then I'm like, oh gosh, like I don't wanna spend too much money. And this is why I have like a fun money slash entertainment category on my budget sheet. Um, just so like I have a set amount I can spend on entertainment each month. So sometimes I'll set between like 70 to $80, which is like $20 a weekend. So that's $10 Saturdays and Sundays. For me, if I'm going to spend money on an activity, it's not going to be Saturday and Sunday. It's going to be Saturday or Sunday. But if it's free, then it could be both days because it's free. Um, and you know, there's such lots of things to do for fun. For me, I look around my apartment. I'm like, okay, what can I do that's fun? Um, movie nights are fun. You know, most 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 of us are already most of us are already paying for you know HBO Max, Netflix, all these streaming services. You just have movie night. If you already have dessert in your freezer or you got some popcorn, make that and have a movie night. That's fun. Okay, watch movies, fun. Invite some friends. Um, I also love to play games. I have apples to apples. I have Uno. I have playing cards. I have Family Feud. That's fun as well. It doesn't require any money. Maybe, you know, go to the pool with some friends. It could be like a breakfast type of thing, like breakfast and pool. Bring some fruits, bring some breakfast items, sit by the pool, eat, go in the pool. That's fun. <laughs> I think that's fun. And that's what Sierra and I did actually a couple weeks ago. We were like, let's just meet at the pool and, you know, catch up, talk. And I brought a mango and we shared it and that was actually fun for me you know you don't have to spend a lot of money to have fun it's little things i like to check around like my local neighborhood to see if there are any events um so i would definitely do that because there are a lot of free events in dallas you just show up and you, know, you have a good time you can also check eventbrite there are also you can also check eventbrite i know my friend sierra does a lot and there are a lot of like free events i know that um she likes going to like board game nights where she meets other people um and you just play games um and i went i went with her a couple of times and i had a really great time so um you can do that as well i am also a person that loves going to museums and there are a lot of museums that are free um if you live in new york city the met museum is free it's kind of like a pay what you want um, I've been there twice and I haven't seen everything in the museum. Like I haven't gone through all the floors and all the exhibits, um, but there are a lot of museums for free, especially if you're a college student. Oh my gosh, when I was in college, I took advantage of so many like student, you know, college student discounts. Um, there's a lot of free stuff that you can do as a college student, which is, which is really nice. Once you're out of college, it's like there's no discount for you. <laughs> until you're a senior citizen so enjoy it if you're a student high school student college student there are a bunch of discounts but yeah definitely check um your local museums um some are free some are cheap on certain days like i know some museums are like you know five or ten dollars admission mondays through wednesday mondays through wednesday so you can check that out i also like going to the movies but I only go to the movies on Tuesdays because on Tuesdays, Cinemark is only $5.50. <laughs> and I remember doing this when I was back in New York. I only wanted to watch movies on Tuesdays unless someone else was paying for me. Then, okay, we can, we can see on Saturday. But um, I only see movies on Tuesdays. And that's great because there's not a lot of people at the movie theater those days. So it's just great you have the theater mostly to yourself. But yeah, um, you can check your movie theater that's near you see if they have some sort of discount but 
it's only five dollars for me so definitely check that out there's so many ways to save money you just gotta look and do some research also something that i like doing and it really depends on you is i think it's really important for me to help others and volunteer i try to volunteer at least five to ten times a year um so volunteering is fun for me you know it's fun that i get to meet other people but it's also fun that i get to help others um so there are I'm sure a lot of volunteer events just look in your local community and you can meet some other people but also you know make a difference in someone else's life so volunteering of course it's free so definitely look into that if you're interested in volunteering you can also look for volunteer events that you're really really passionate about for instance you know if you're a medical student and you're really interested in the healthcare field well, maybe you can volunteer at you know Tristan's hospital right um or you can volunteer volunteer your time at a a high school maybe talking about your experience of some sort you know there's there there are ways you know if you have a passion about something you can always find a way to volunteer so hopefully that helps you out living a frugal life doesn't have to be boring i can totally relate to how you feel because sometimes it kind of does feel restrictive but really a budget is supposed to help you control your money it's supposed to give you some clarity on how much you're spending it's not supposed to be really restrictive you know it's not like oh i spend 200 on 200 dollars on groceries but i'm gonna restrict myself to 150. you know <laughs> you want to be very very realistic when you go on a budget um but just figure out how much you can spend on entertainment and then like work from there again you can do a lot at home for fun hopefully that helps you guys out